Okay, let's learn the distributor property. And I'm going to try to keep this about in seven minutes or so. So I might go a little bit more, uh, maybe a little less. But the whole idea is if you stick with me, with me for this short period of time, you will definitely upgrade your knowledge about the, uh, the distributor property. Or maybe you're really good in it already and just want a quick review. Now before we get going, just a little bit about myself. I am a math teacher. Um, I literally have hundreds and hundreds of videos on my YouTube channel that you can check out. But I teach middle school, high school math, uh, and some college. But I um, also have a complete math learning system. And if you uh, feel like you, you know, like learning from me, you understand my teaching style, then I'll leave the link in the description of this video. You can check that out later. But with that being said, let's just jump right to it. So let's talk about the distributor property. This is extremely critical in algebra and I mean like very very critical um, and if you don't get this right everything um, beyond when you learn this is going to go not good <laughs> all right so it's not that difficult all right but let me go ahead and just show you how this works so let's take a simple problem let's take 3 times uh, 15 right so what's 3 times 15 well hopefully you all can just say, oh, that's 45, right? So 3 times 15 is 45. So why am I showing you this? You're like, well, aren't you going to talk about the distributive property? Yes, I am. What the distributive property is, it's another way to do multiplication, okay? So the distributive property is another way to do multiplication, and it's an extremely powerful way to do multiplication. So let's take a look at this problem, 3 times 15. Now, instead of writing 15 as just 15. Let's do it this way. 3 times 10 plus 5. Okay, so 10 plus 5 is 15, right? So these two problems are mathematically equivalent. They are the same problem. So you're saying, well, okay, why would I do this? Well, there's a reason to it. Okay, so just stick with me because I want to show you this property. So let's do this same problem, 3 times 15. Okay, we already know the answer is 45, but we're going to do this a little bit different. Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to take this 3 and we're going to distribute it. Okay, this word distribute means to kind of pass out. All right, so we're going to distribute it to this 10. And then we're also going to take this 3 and we're going to distribute it to this 5. So this is how this works, okay? So we're going to distribute the 3 to the 10, so it's going to be 3 times 10. 3 times 10. So let's write that here, 3 times 10. Now this is an addition uh, symbol here, so let's put the plus, right? So we have 3 times 10 plus 3 times 5. So let's write that here, 3 times 5. Now let's simplify this. What's 3 times 10? This is 30 plus, what's 3 times 5? That's 15. And 30 plus 15 is, of course, 45. So you can, you can see that, okay, wow, the distributive property, we're able to break up values into sums and or differences, and we could do a multiplication problem, okay? This is an extremely powerful um, property that you must know in algebra. All right now, let's take a look at another example. But this time we're going to use variables. Okay, so what about 3 times 4x plus 1? Okay, 3 times 4x plus 1. So if you think you can do this, you might want to try to pause the video and give it a whirl. Okay, so in algebra, we can't add. 4x plus 1, it's it's as simple as it can go right here, but we need to simplify it. So in order to simplify and do something with this, we use the distributive property. Okay, so we're going to take the 3 and we're going to distribute to this. Now let's just, before we get going, this parentheses, right, is what this is, is 3 times all this value inside of there. Okay, so the, the distributive property, again, is a way to do multiplication. So you need to recognize this, right? So anytime you have a number outside of a sum or difference enclosed in parentheses, we can apply the distributive property. So we have 3 times 4x. Let's write that here. 3 times 4x plus 3 times 1. Okay, so when we do that, we're going to get 12x plus 3. Okay, 
and this would be the answer. So this is pretty much it, okay? Uh, the distributive property is not much more difficult than this, all right? It's very direct. Now, let me just show you a super classic mistake. After years and years of teaching, you see almost all the errors in the book, and that's why it's um, really advantageous to learn from an expert math teacher, okay? Hopefully you have one in your school, but someone who's been teaching for a long, long, long time because they see many mistakes over the years and um, uh, you know they could say oh wow students always confuse this and sometimes as a math teacher you can't see the mistakes that students are going to do only through experience you can as you can see that so here is a very typical mistake and I want to share it with you so you don't make it okay so let's take the same problem students will go oh this they'll go really quick three times uh, 4x and they'll write 12x and then I'll just go 12x plus uh, 1. Okay, they won't distribute to the second part over here, right? Very common mistake. So if you're, you know, making this mistake, just be aware of that and, um, you know, obviously avoid it. So let's do a couple quick other problems. Let me erase this. And hopefully I'm doing pretty good on time. Again, seven minutes is an approximate thing. So let's uh, take three and let's do 8x minus 2. I'll do this really quick, right? So again, a distributive property situation, we're going to take the 3 and multiply it by the 8x. Now, you don't have to put these arrows in here. Um, I'm just doing this to illustrate this to you, right? So 3 times 8x, okay? And then we're going to take this 3 and we're going to multiply it by this 2 or distribute to the 2. So we have a difference or subtraction situation. So this is going to be 3 times 2. So I get 24x minus 6. Straightforward stuff. All right, one last quick problem and then we're going to uh, call it done. So let's take uh, 2 times negative 10x plus, uh, let's say, 3 plus x. Okay, now the distributive property works more than, than two things in, inside of here. You can have you can have as many things inside of this parentheses as uh, whatever the situation calls for. It just doesn't have to be two, okay? So here we go. So this is gonna be two times negative uh, 10x. So we'll write it out this way, two times negative 10x plus, because this is a plus, two times three. Okay, now we have another plus here. This is gonna be two times x or just 2x, okay? So let's simplify this. 2 times negative 10x is negative 20x plus 6 plus 2x. Now I can combine these like terms and whatnot. We're not going to do that here. And you could have done that already. But that's what I'm showing you here is that you can apply the distributive property to as many terms inside the parentheses as there are. Okay, so let's wrap up this video. I'm probably a little bit over seven minutes, but don't hold it against me. Again, um, you know, if you like uh, learning from me, I literally have hundreds and hundreds of videos on my YouTube channel that you'll definitely benefit from, various um, basic math to advanced math. Um, so hopefully you'll become a subscriber, and I'm posting all the time. Again, I'll leave a, a link to my math program, uh, comprehensive, full, complete courses. I do uh, stuff way above and beyond what I do on YouTube, so I'll leave the link in the description of this video. If you liked the video, helped you out, I would appreciate a thumbs up and leave me some feedback. Let me know how math is going for you. Um, you know, any particular questions you might have. I try to read as many of the comments as I get. I do get a lot, and I'm grateful for. But um, I read as many as I can. It lets me know how I'm doing. It also gives me your questions and feedback. It gives me ideas for future videos. But with that being said, I definitely uh, appreciate your time, and I wish you all the best in mathematics, and have a great day.